So right now, let's uh, talk about our maxi max approach. What do we do? We go from right to left. It says max, right? But the most important thing to do this uh, kind of exercises correctly the first time is to say this in your mind, right? If I were to choose the something, okay? So if you say this in your mind, you will not be confused by the presentation of the payoff information. That is, even if the table were, was to be transposed, S123 on the rows, D123 on the columns, you can still use this phrase to guide you correctly. So here goes uh, this phrase with this layout. Okay, If I were to choose D1, okay, I have selected D1, and so now I see potentially S1 as the outcome, S2 or S3, at which point I will get 0.5 million, 0.4 million, 0.3 million respectively, depending on what comes out. But being maxi max, I will be so optimistic. I will always end up getting the maximum of that decision, of that decision. That's why you start off by saying, if I were to choose. Yeah? So when we identify the maximum value, we'll record that in the column. Okay. And, and label that as uh, max. I do that. So just to save some typing, I'm just going to write max here. Okay, so if I were to choose D1, I'll be so lucky, so positive, so optimistic, I'll be able to get the maximum of all payoffs. So that has to be 0.5. Then we can go a little bit faster. If I were to choose decision alternative 2, D2, I'll be so optimistic, I'll be so lucky, I'll be so fortunate, I will get 1.0 as my payoff millions of dollars right and if i were to choose d3 then across the row in this case we'll see 2.0 as the maximum so i'll be so optimistic i will be able to get that okay so maxi max we have done the max now we do the maxi of the max so amongst the maximum of all the decision alternatives the highest recorded is 2.0 okay so We'll say that our decision alternative, our best decision under maxi max decision making method is D3. Okay, so our answer is D3. That's it, simple as that. Okay, so maxi max. If I were to choose decision alternative, get the maximum for each decision alternative, then find the maximum of all these maximum, and the decision alternative corresponding to that maximum is the recommended decision, right? optimal decision under maxi max algorithm. What about maxi min? Very simple. And we can also talk about it you know, here. Maxi min is basically saying that first you make a decision scenario if i were to choose right so if i were to choose d1 then i will potentially face the consequences s1 s2 or s3 and i'll be so pessimistic right and i'll be so conservative rather and i will be so careful don't think of the best let's think of the of the worst so that i will face s3 in this case and I will record 0.3 million. Okay, that's that's not bad, but that's the worst amongst 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. Then if I were to choose D2, okay, then I won't get 1 million. Don't be so optimistic. Uh, let's get ready for the worst, and that has to be 0 0.1 million. And finally, if I were to choose D3, oh, don't even think about making money. We're losing half a million dollars. Okay, so coincidentally in this example all the minimum turned out to be a long state of nature three maybe because economy does goes badly right so it's it's the worst but that's just coincidental we are correct in terms of executing the algorithm then what we do next is let's follow the name maxi min it's not mini min 
right? So it's maximin. So we make the most out of the worst. Amongst all the minimum, the best, the highest, the maximum is 0.3, right? So hence we say that the decision alternative that is optimal under maximin's guidance, under maximin algorithm, is D1. Yeah, because that's the maximum. Okay, so far so good.